Hey, what's up guys? It's Adrian from AC Designs and today I'm going to show you how to turn these regular aviation shears into a bench top heavy duty sheet metal shear. Coming up. Alright guys, here's a few of the supplies that you're going to need. Uh, usually when you buy these hand aviation shears, they come in a three pack. I get mine at the big box stores. Uh, they come with a left hand cut and also a right hand cut. And also they come with a, I guess you could call multi-directional cut. It'll go right or left and straight. I'd suggest this one you use just so you can make both turns. Then you're going to need a piece of bar stock. This is an inch and a half wide by a quarter inch thick mild steel. You can get it at your big box stores and like those multi-metal bins. You need this so you can clamp your uh, shear in, into your vise or on the table. Also you're going to need some half inch mild steel tubing. It comes in three foot lengths at your big box stores in the metal bin section. You use this for the handle to add leverage to your shears. All right, guys, we're gonna cut the tubing at 21 inches for your handle. You can adjust this if you want to. I found 21 inches about right because of the length. You don't want it to get in your way too much, but you do want enough leverage. All right, guys, now we're gonna cut the bar stock at six inches. This works pretty good to fit in most vices. Plus it gives a good clamping for a table and stuff like that. Now it's time to clean these edges up and make everything look a lot better and go ahead and prepare our area for the weld. All right guys, now for the fun stuff. We're getting ready to start welding. So just pull your little rubber handles off. And then we'll just clean up these areas here for where your handle goes and your little cross piece on the bottom that clamps to the table and uh, we'll get ready to weld. going to show you kind of how I put this together. You just basically slide your piece of tubing up in there about as far as it'll go. Keep it keep it parallel and stuff with the the piece, but your bracket on the bottom, I tried to put it up as close as I could to where it would still hinge. And I uh, usually back there at the back bolts where it goes together would be a good place to put it to.
All right, guys, let's give this thing a whirl and see how she does. This I'm cutting 16 gauge steel. I mean, it's you can't hardly bend it. It's heavy stuff. It's what I use to make my roses with. So I developed these to cut my petals out because the, the hand shears were just too, too much stress on my hands and wrists and stuff to try to do five petals and doing multiples of them that really wear you out. But with this here, by putting this handle extension on it, it makes these hand shears work just like a, a Beverly shear would for about a quarter of the price. You can see it, it cuts through 16 gauge like no problem at all. So you can also do turns and stuff. You just force it a little bit, just give it a little turn as you're going down with it, and you can cut like petals for leaves and the petals of roses and stuff out pretty easily without wearing yourself out. All right, guys, I'm going to post a link up here for uh, the rose video that I've done last week. It shows where I was using it. But uh, this is what you can make by using these tools. It makes life a lot easier. Like I said, there's a whole lot of cutting here. So, All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this project. Get out there and make some. And it goes to show it don't take a whole lot to make these cool little projects. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification button. Thanks. See you next video.